Hello everyone, Miss Molinado here with another video and it looks like we're in the jungle but it's really a banana plantation because we're going to learn today how to bake an easy banana bread with the option of adding chocolate chips. Now, I don't know about many of you, but I haven't been able to finish bananas every time I buy a batch of bananas. Maybe I have been eating other fruit or kind of forget about the bananas and before I know it, they're all ripe. Well, ripe bananas are the best kinds of bananas to make banana bread. When they're all spotted and they look kind of yucky and you're kind of like, I don't want to eat this banana. Well, guess what? It's time to make banana bread. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you all about the ingredients, the process of how to make the bread and what are some final steps and how it looks at the end. The ingredients. So the ingredients, you have two cups of all purpose flour. You need one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. You need three to four ripe bananas. You need a tablespoon of milk, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a cup of butter, which is equal to one stick of butter if your mom or dad buys sticks of butter two eggs, one cup of sugar, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, which are optional. Now, if you have a gluten allergy, you can probably um, make this without the flour. There are some substitutions you can have. You can also make this with wheat flour, almond flour, just like you can substitute the milk. And um, if you are vegan, you can also a look up an option for changing the eggs and the milk in this uh, and the butter in in this version. This is just a version that I found to be the easiest. So let me show you what that looks like. So we have milk here. We have the butter of steak, which I chopped up into little pieces. We have the flour. We have the mashed bananas. We have two eggs. We have the cinnamon, baking powder baking soda, chocolate chips, I have a big bowl, and I have the loaf pan. Now my loaf pan makes four mini loaves, and this recipe is actually going to make three mini loaves, but um, you can use a regular loaf pan if that is all you have. Okay, let's move on. Uh, now let me show you the process of what we're going to be doing to make the banana bread. So the first thing you need to do is start preheating your oven. So you're going to preheat your oven to 325, okay? And then you have to start by mixing all your dry ingredients. That means mix your flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt together in a bowl. I forgot to take a picture of that step while I was making it, but that's very easy. You put everything together in one bowl and you kind of just, um, Mix it up. Try not to be messy, but you know what? Messes happen in the kitchen, so that is okay. Uh, then you're going to mix your wet ingredients. So you're going to mash all the bananas. That's my favorite part, which most of the time I ask my fiance to do because he's got strong arms. But you can all take something and mash the bananas and they get all gooey and mushy and that's exciting. Um, then you're going to add the milk and the cinnamon to the mixture and mix it up. Mix it up. The next thing you're going to do is mix the butter that we cut up together with the sugar. Okay, so we're going to mix the butter with the sugar using the electric um, mixer. And when it gets, when it starts getting soft and fluffy, you're going to mix in one egg at a time. And this is what your mixture will look like once you have mixed it all together. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add in your banana mixture where you put the milk and the cinnamon you're going to add that into the butter and egg and sugar mixture. So now you're going to have one big glop of gooey, ooey things. And the only thing left to add is going to be your dry ingredients, which is the flour, the baking soda, the baking powder and salt that you mixed in the first step. And you're going to add it in little by little. Okay, you can mix it with some of this. I don't really mix it with the electric mixer. I just use the electric mixture to kind of fold it in. Okay, and then you can also use a spatula to keep folding it and folding it and folding it in. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to 
add in the chocolate chips if you have some. So that's going to be the final step that you add in before you put it on your loaf pan. So you're going to fold in the chocolate chips and mix it all together. Okay, I like to have all the ingredients laid out um, in in my uh, on my table before I start mixing everything because it's easier than just starting and then having to go through the cabinets and the refrigerator and everything. So that first picture that I showed you that I'll go back to at the end is kind of how I lay everything out before I start mixing everything so it makes it easy. So once the chocolate chips are mixed in, you're going to grease your loaf pan. And like I said, my loaf pan makes four mini loaves. So with this mixture, it was able to make three mini loaves. I put it in the oven. It has to be in the oven for about 60 to 70 minutes. So that's about one hour to an hour and 10 minutes. And sometimes I sneak a picture here and there to watch it start rising. And once the timer goes off, I stick a little toothpick or knife in it to make sure that it's um, all baked inside. And that's how it looks. And in the end, your end result is this gorgeous looking banana bread. And believe me, it tastes even better. Okay, so good. Such a good option to have. Let me go back to the layout of the ingredients so that you can see what I kind of do. I set everything up and prepare it ahead of time. So I hope you enjoyed this process of baking of banana bread. Uh, you can rewind and fast forward and pause if you need to look at the process and the steps and whatever else you need. I'll also include the ingredients and the steps in the description of the video. So let's get baking, school three. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you're not allergic to any of the ingredients in this uh, baking video, but if you are, I'm sure you can ask your parents for help on finding something to add into your banana bread so that you are able to eat it, okay? Happy baking. Miss you, love you all.